glasses look normal! Hello everybody, oh, welcome back to my channel. I am Lucky Wolf, and today I'm be playing some VGC Regulation E on the VGC Regulation E Ranked Ladder. And no, your eyes do not deceive you. I am going to be using Torterra and Clefairy today. I am really excited to use Clefairy. The only CP I've ever earned, and the first CP I ever earned, ch championship points, um, was with Clefairy. It was back in 2015 with Clefairy and... Mega Salamence, there we go. And so Clefairy will always have a very special place in my heart. Uh, this team was made by Rio Pacer, an extremely talented player. I will have everything linked in the description down below, so please make sure to check them out. I would very, very much appreciate it. The team is also gonna have the Scarf, Single Strike Urshifu. We have Swords Dance, Bullet Seed, Loaded Dice, Terra Water on the Torterra. And with the Torterra, we have Clefairy for Support for redirection, we have Farigarath as well with Nasty Plot. We are going to be plotting nastily with the Farigarath. Uh, but the Farigarath does mean uh, no priority can come out from my opponent's side of the field. So that would mean even if they have a Tornadus, they can't go for Prankster Taunt on the Clefairy. They can't be going for Grassy Glides, Extreme Speeds, all that kind of good stuff. We also have Assault Best Hisuian Arcanine. I'm not sure I've used this variant. I don't know if I've used Vested... Hisuian Arcanine, I certainly haven't in Regulation E. And then rounding it out with Milotic Skull, Recover, Icy Wind, and Protect. That is the set I like to run on my Milotic, so I'm really excited to use this team. Some fun picks, some spicy picks, and then even on some more of the... More, s words. Even on some of the more standard picks, like maybe the Hisuian Arcanine, or the Urshifu, or the Farigarath. I don't think Photograph is super standard, but um, we do see some fun, we do see fun sets on those. So I'm excited to just kind of jump in and uh, let's grab some games. Oh, oh, we got a mono type team on our hands. Let's freaking go. We got mono poison, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, but guess what? Guess what move Torterra has? Torterra does have the high horsepower. Okay, but the cool thing about this team and something that I kind of like from my opponent, is they are using Haunter over Gengar. And if I'm not mistaken, Haunter still does have Levitate. So that is a Levitating Pokemon no longer weak to the high horsepower because it is immune to high horsepower. Okay. This actually looks a little scary. I'm gonna be honest. This is kind of a scary mono-type team. I think I want to go... The goggles is going to be really nice here. Psy Shock going to be coming in very handy. Like, goggles, Farigarath with Psy Shock, I think is going to be kind of nasty here. So I'm going to lean into that. They also have some slow mons on their side. I'm gonna bring Torterra, and I'm actually gonna lead Torterra, and I'm gonna bring Scarf Ursh in the back, which is a little bit awkward, but I think if I can stall out, if, if it comes to it and I can stall out my own Trick Room, then I'll be okay. And they, okay, well done, well done to my opponent right there. They have the lead card with the, okay, okay, sure. This is fine, I think. Both my mons are immune to Spore, here. I honestly probably could Trick Room. I don't think I need to. Are they gonna be Terra Dark? That's my question here. I'm gonna Psy Shock anti horsepower into this spot. They're gonna Terra. This is probably gonna be Terra Dark. Let's see. Let's see what they wanna go for. Yep. That makes sense. Terra Dark, yep. Makes sense. This is gonna be a Terra Dark knockoff. I could have gone Hyper Voice to cover for this. They actually bulk up. Okay. 
And they are the fastest thing, so I probably will Trick Room next turn. I might be forced into Swords Dancing. Luckily, I'm not super worried about this Amoongus. We get our high horsepower off, though, for no damage. Okay, love that for us. And no spore goes off. Cool. Lefties? Okay. I'm gonna Trick Room and Swords Dance here. Woke up again? Okay. So this means I get my Trick Room off. We get our Swords Dance off. Not looking terrible here. The second bulk up is a little bit interesting for my opponent, for sure. Let me get our Trick Room. I kind of want a nasty- the truth is, I kind of want a nasty plot. I'm not going to, but I kind of want to. So is this Okie Dokie Protect? Are they running Protect on their Okie Dokie? They might be, let's see. They are, okay. Attacking into a Protect does not feel great. Let's see what the Amoongus wants to go for here. Okay, you're gonna follow Puff. Amoongus! Calm down! I did so much damage! I should've nasty plotted. I really could've nasty plotted there. Oof. Oof. Okay. Amoongus, but seriously, calm down. That did way too much damage. I did way too much damage. Hello. This next turn, I will nasty plot. I think. Okay, Moonga swaps. Drug algae, like algae comes in, okay. And we, we hit him multiple times, so we have more chances to get a crit. Right, buddy? Right, buddy? Right, buddy? I was wrong, but we do get five hits, so I'll take it. We get our Hyper Voice. Not bad damage at all. A Drain Punch. Poor Torterra. Okay. Do you protect this turn? Do you protect this turn? I'm gonna bring in Clefairy here, I think. I'm gonna protect my Clefairy. Slowing out Trick Room is not the worst thing. Two more turns, okay. I'm gonna Nasty Plot. I'm gonna protect. I think that this is my best play. I should have Nasty Plotted before. Okay, that's one. Look, that's one, I'll take what I can get. I will take what I can get. Sludge Bomb, nice, okay. And Nasty Plot goes up. Big, okay. Um, that turn, I don't really think it brings us back into it necessarily. But I am gonna Helping Hand here. I helping hand here, I think, always. We get some plus two screaming damage off. No double, that's huge. That's already absolutely massive. Okay. Clefairy, you did amazing, bud. You did amazing! One hit KO! Sorry, Clef. Okay, let's see. Okay, your life orb. Let's see how much we do here. Huge. Huge! Okay. Unfortunately, there is one more turn of Trick Room. Big unfortunate, there is one more turn of Trick Room, and I have a Scarf Mon in the back. Like, maybe it was a better idea for me to swap into my Mon this turn? Oh wait! Oh wait, never mind. Wait a second! Perfect timing! Perfect timing, and I have my... Perfect timing, and I have my Terra still, as well. Who do I want to Terra here? Okay. 
I am dark type Terra. I don't think I need to go fire type Terra here. Um, so you cannot protect against this. Can I tell you what's funny? No, they should be levitate. They should be levitate, so this is fine. This is a fine turn from us, I think. I go dark type Terra for the extra of damage. You cannot protect. I guess you could be. You could definitely be Sash. You could also be Eviolite. Wow, did we turn. Did. I honestly think the nasty plot. Look, look, look. This game's not over yet. Rage Powder, yep. This game is far from over. But I do think win or lose, the turn that really turned it around for us was 100%. Ooh, Rocky Helmet, okay. Was 100% Will the Wisp, okay. The fall was the was the Protect Nasty plot play. That was the biggest play. Getting Giraffe to plus two to a point where it could actually KO was very good for us. And not Sash, okay, that's game. I don't think the Amoongus, I, I'm like, my Urshifu's burned, so Amoongus can't even put me to sleep. Amoongus can't put my Giraffe to sleep. And now they already tear it, so we just hit him with that Psy Shock, hit him with the Wicked Blow, and that should be a game! Wow! That was very scary, and I, and I really want to give kudos to my opponent. Um, Monotype teams can be tough to make work, and Mono Poison is a really interesting choice, and I think my opponent played it very, very well. I think if I had to look back at how I could have played it better, one, turn one, I, I need the Trick Room. Turn one, I need the Trick Room, I just... I'm not sure about Torterra speeds, but I should know we have we have no speed investment on this Torterra. I have the paste, um, and I'll link the paste in the description down below, so we have no speed on this Torterra. So one big turn is I needed to Trick Room turn one and two. Once they- att a double attacking into the Protect is not the worst case, uh, but then when I knew that they had the Protect, I needed to take advantage of it a bit better with the Nasty Plot. Which I, which, which I then adjusted to be able to do. But I do think it was the nasty plot pl It was the nasty plot play that brought us back into the game after a rough start. But, hard, it's gonna be hard, it, honestly it's gonna be hard to top Mono Poison team, but let's, let's hop into another. Alrighty, next game we have Aaron. Okay, with the, uh, well, a, a core that I really hate going up against is the Fluttermane and Chiyu. I find that core, is, is honestly a lot more, what's what I'm looking for, flexible than I think a lot of people think it is. Uh, so that's a core I'm very wary of. They have the uh, double genie and the tornadus and the landorus, um, as well as the water type ogre pond and iron hands. Okay, so something I'm looking at when I use this team is... What kind of spread damage can they hurt me with, right? Because we have the follow me. The follow me works phenomenally for single target damage, and Clefairy can help with spread type, da spread type damage as well because of the friend guards that does protect the ally Pokemon. But there's a lot of spread moves on this team. A lot of potential for spread moves on this team, at least I should say. But... I think Trick Room is the way to go. And I think this is the this is my the best thing I can do in Trick Room. I'm gonna bring you in the back. And is this my loaded game? It doesn't really feel like it. It doesn't really feel like it. I'm gonna go Ursh, and I'm gonna hopefully play it similarly to last game, where once we get out of Trick Room, bam, I hit him with my Scarf Ursh. That's the that, that that's that's the whole goal here anyway. Well, Aaron was really staring at me. Okay. Fluttermane and okay. Is this going to be? Is this going to be? Are they going to trick room with their Fluttermane? Is this going to be trick room Fluttermane? What do I think about Trick Room Protect here? I don't want to get hit with a Heavy Slam. I think with Friend Guard, Farigaraf can live anything. I could go Terra Fire. I could go Terra Fire. Do I want to use my Terra right now? I'm gonna go for this play. I just don't know if it's going to be Trick Room Flutter. I'm not sure what they're going to do here. 
Okay, they actually just razzle dazzle. So we, we do live that. They aren't trick room flutter. Two good things. Two good things. She still did kind of a lot. I should have gone fire type. Should have gone fire type. Although I'm not sure it truly would have mattered. The ice punch? I am curious about that. I am curious. I'm gonna nasty plot. I'm gonna nasty plot and I'm gonna heal pulse here. I think it's worth it! Maybe just, it's, I can't tell if it's because last game, Nasty Plot worked for me, so now I'm like, yes, Nasty Plot is the line to victory. But I'm gonna do this here. The, I don't think that was Specs damage on the Flutter. Okay, neither protected, so not the best, but now I can get some big damage off this next turn. Okay, maybe predicting a swap, that's fine. We get our plot up, love that for me. We are plotting. And they're dazzling. Okay. Ooh! No! Clefairy! You can protect. You can. You can protect. Okay. Uh, that's actually. Honestly, the crit's kind of unfortunate here. The crit really is kind of unfortunate. But I'm gonna Psy Shock and I'm gonna Heal Pulse. Okay, they're gonna Terra. Okay, that makes sense. They will no longer be weak to the Psy Shock, but guess what they are weak to now? My Torterra. They are weak to my Torterra. We get another Heal Pulse off. Thank you. Drain Punch. Ooh, that actually kind of did- Opponent, please! Opponent, please! That honestly, like, the crit's unfortunate. I need all the health I can get here. Getting double crit back to back, but Clefairy is a very good Pokemon. Now I follow me. Now I hyper voice follow me here, I think. Okay, Clefairy, thank you for living that. I appreciate ya. Great punch, nice. Okay. That's okay, that's okay. Again, the, the crit is bad, only because we would have had so much more health here. I don't know if we go down to a Dazzle. That's that's the issue here. I don't know if we go down to Dazzle. Single target, yeah. I honestly think without the crit, we live that. I do think without the crit, we live that. And without the crit, our Clefairy also would have lived. So this is just a tale, this is just a tale of getting double crit. You know, as you do in this game. I don't think I have an out here, let me think. Let me think. I don't think I have an out here. Unfortunate. I, this would have been a very different game. This would have been a very, very different game without this, I think. I think I just have to hope that, that, that this KOs, which there's- I don't think there's a world where this KOs, but I think this is my best shot. Like, maybe they don't know that we're scarfed. But locking myself into Sucker Punch does feel suspect as all heck. But we would still have two Pokemon on the field here this next turn if we didn't get double crit back to back. Maybe we can get a crit, hello? Urshifu, get him, crit him? Okay, we didn't need the crit. That's fine. Okay. Okay. Well, that's one KO. <laughs> that's one KO for us, so I'll take it. Okay, buddy. Get him. Let's see how much this does. Oh, that does no damage. Torterra! Okay, I actually need Torterra. I need you to get like maybe two crits. Five hits. Actually, this is gonna be close. Torterra, buddy, do it for me. Get get that roll. We were so close. Torterra. Oh. Okay, wait a second. That does so much. Torterra. Torterra, you good? Okay. That's a sucker punch range, though. We were already slower. 
Like, I don't know what they have, but we were already slower. Fish. That's less than ideal, I'm gonna tell you that much. None more turns of Trick Room? That's too bad. Okay, we get the Sucker at least. We need to pick up that KO, I think, but honestly, after the beginning of the game, I just don't think there was an out there, unfortunately. I do think those two crits hurt that badly. Someone live! Nope. <laughs> Someone live, I scream. Nope. So I do think that game went okay. Um, like I said, the crit into the giraffe meant that... Life Orb, okay. The, the crit into the giraffe meant that we went down to the Dazzling Gleam, which I don't think we would have... I don't think we would have if we didn't get crit. And the crit into the Clefairy meant the Clefairy got KO'd that turn. So, just so, some, sometimes you just get double crit back to back, and there's not a lot you can do to come back from it. I think we obviously would have had a slightly a better shot if we... If, if we KO'd the... Um, if we KO'd the Flutter, but unfortunately, I do believe that was a roll. We also could have gotten a crit, but no, that also didn't happen. But let's jump in. I have time. I have time. So let's jump into one last game. Last game of the... Oh my gosh. Okay, we have a Trick Room. We my, Dan... Sorry, words. Dan is running hard Trick Room. And a Ting Lu. Okay, Ting Lu. Okay, Ting Lu. Um... This is actually kind of rough. I'll be honest with you. I'm finding this. I'm finding this one a little, a little rough. I think I probably do want a swords dance. I think if I can, if I think if I can double set up, that's just what I have to do. Do I like Arcanine more than Urshifu here? Arcanine gives me a reasonable swap in- I have- okay, yeah, 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 okay, we're going Arcanine. We're going- uh, so I like Arcanine. Arcanine has the AV, they have like- they have four special attackers, two really big special attacking heavy hitters. Unfortunately, both their special attacking heavy hitters in the Torkoal and the Ursaluna Blood Moon uh, are known to carry uh, Earth Power, which is not one time. Not two times, but four times super effective against my Arcanine. But, um, we're just, I, I still think if I can catch him on a Hyper Voice or if I can catch him on a Eruption, having a swap into that is nice here. Whoa. Okay, Dan. I, I, I'm a big fan of Walking Wake, so uh, I, I like that card. Okay. Um, I... I want to double set up here, if I'm being honest. I'm gonna double set up here, yep. Yep. We're plotting. We're plotting. They actually didn't protect. Wow, I could've hit you with my Torterra. Okay. We get our- we get our double set up here. Unfortunate, because I could have hit you with the Torterra. Oh! This did a lot! Okay. That's Throat Spray. Okay. Okay, so we should lose our Torterra here. Unfortunate for Torterra! I'll tell you that much. I really did not... I thought that... I was shocked. I thought they would protect there. But here, they can't click Blood Moon again. I kind of want to... I think Flare Blitz Hyper Voice. I could Rock Slide, but I don't want to risk a miss. So I think Flare Blitz Hyper Voice should be doing very good damage here. Well, I, 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 I am very surprised they did not protect that turn. 
We get our Flare Blitz off. How much are we doing? Very good damage. I will absolutely take that. I probably need to Terra this turn, actually. Just like I was talking about. Oops, I probably did need to Terra this turn. Because they're gonna hit me with a... They're gonna hit me with an Earth Power, and then I am down two Pokemon. Ah, yeah, that's not bad. I, that's, yep, yep, I need to Terra. I absolutely need to Terra that turn. 100%. Yeah, I think if I Terra, I actually have a decent chance in this endgame, but that's, I, literally, I said it in Team Preview, and then I forgot that I said it in Team Preview. But it is the Torkoal. Okay, well, I'm not hating that. I'll be honest. I am not hating that. Okay, I'm going to Helping Hand Hyper Voice here, and I'm going to go Terra Fire. I should maybe protect my Clefairy. Um, it, it, it maybe isn't over. It maybe isn't over, but... I really, really, really wish I went for the Terra that last turn. That was just- that was a super- but I'm a- brain fart moment. But this is also not the worst case in the world. I think they have to protect their Ur Ursa Luna here. Their Life Orb, they should have Protect. Okay, on the Torkoal, and you are what type? Also Fire. Okay, so the Fire Power coming out here gonna be very big. Very, very big. But if they don't protect, then we get a KO on the Ursa Luna, and we're gonna get huge damage off- They didn't protect! Whoa! Can I be honest with you? Can I be honest with you? I- Torkoal does not have the biggest spadef stat. We are helping hand, stab boosted, plus two. I'm gonna- I, I genuinely don't know if that crit mattered. I'll be honest, I do not know if that crit mattered. Iron Hand's coming in, okay. That Quark Drive, okay, attack. I am scared of that. <laughs> Certified, am scared of it. Uh, but here, I think I always follow me, and they cannot Terra. I'm just gonna go for Psy Shock here. Let's see how much we're doing. We should be faster as we are. Psy Shock coming out. Maybe Helping Hand was the correct play. No, no, I had to go for what I went for. Oh, you Wild Charge. Okay, never mind. That's, that should be game because you're taking too much damage. Whoa! Farigaraf! Chill out! <laughs> Farigaraf picked up- Farigaraf is about to pick up every KO, correct? Unfortunately, Torterra did 0, 0.00 things, though I do believe that was user error. I do 100% believe that was user error. They do cancel there. So poor Torterra. I'm sorry, bud. I legitimately thought that they... I legitimately thought they were going to protect, but maybe my better play is to still just try to get chip damage on their giraffe that turn, so then my giraffe can pick up the KO the turn after. I think that that is probably just my best play there. Um, but Farigaraf? Hello? Nasty plot Farigaraf? I feel like absolutely carried. The two games we won, Nasty Plot for Rigoraf carried us. This is my new favorite for Rigoraf set. Just full stop, like, period. 100%. But what a fun team. Once again, I have everything linked for Real Pacer in the description down below. I'll have the pace there as well and the rental, which is also in the beginning of the video. But thank y'all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'm so glad. Even though I feel like I didn't highlight Torterra, I tried. I tried. I brought Torterra to the games. But I, at least I got to highlight Clefairy and um, Nasty Plot for Rigoraf really, really fun core right there as well. But thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate that. If you do in, if you do, or if you did enjoy, please feel free to leave a like, comment, or subscribe. If not, for none of that. And I, that was a sentence. I swear to you, that was a sentence. If, if not, feel free to do exactly none of that. I hope everybody has an absolutely amazing rest of your day. And thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for the support. And okay, that is going to be it from me. Okay, bye!